Hey folks, Philip B Man here. I think we've got the final version of the B Sucker Sampler. And uh, so what we have is Canadian Tire brand uh, shop vac or hand, hand vac or shop vac, whatever you want. We 3D printed a adapter to take my standard Hitachi batteries. You might want to, you know, use DeWalt or whatever your brand is. So you don't have to have, I'm cra driven crazy by having a different battery for every possible uh, unit. So I, I convert them all to a standard. And then we 3D printed the uh, nose of this thing. And so this is the way the vacuum would have come. And my son, Tim, who's pretty darn smart, uh, he 3D printed the duck bill so that uh, reach into the snow to the hive and suck up some bees. And it's got little indents in there so it'll turn and lock onto the middle section, which is essentially two elbows with a screen that'll go into your sample bottle. And then once you put that all together, you can go up to the hive, reach into the entrance, back up some bees, and fill up the sample jar, and I can sample bees in the wintertime. On a really warm spring day when the bees are coming out of the hive, you can sample some anyways, there's some on the front, but the downside of that is you end up sampling only your strongest, best hives. And of course you end up having no idea if that makes sense for all the hives or not. So uh, we've been playing with this for a while, trying, and we are getting results. We are finding mites and hives that weren't treated and not finding mites and hives that were heavily treated in the fall. So we think we have a system here that works. So now I'm finally going to start, uh, you know, trying to collect some actual data. So you'll remember my 4x4 trial, uh, Lion King playing cards. If you remember back to that video, I have hearts and diamonds and clubs. So I've got four jars. I'm going to have to go through the whole operation. I didn't do a good job of keeping all those sample hives in one spot the fall to winter transition was pretty quick. And so we were throwing hives in the sheds just as fast as we could truck them home without worrying about order or anything. So uh, I'm gonna have to, you know, I'll be walking a mile for every sample jar by the time I'm done here. But um, we'll find, so I'm gonna first go get the hearts, then the, and we'll sample each jar. We'll try to take a few bees from each hive and then we'll find out you know, what we'll find out. A uh, great thing about uh, research is you, you shouldn't know your answer until you get it. So uh, that's the plan. And I'll take a little video of that process and away we go. It's a little warmer in here today. Or I don't know that the temperature's any higher, but the bees think it is. We had first day above freezing temperatures today. So the bees, they're thinking it's time to get going. Uh, I swept up in here early, and uh, so they're, they're fired up about going. So we gotta go find some cards. Aha, here's some, okay. So we've got, we need Lion King. Those are Star Wars, oh no. Some more hives that are warm. Oh, these ones are really fired up.
Here's some. Pine King. Okay. Oh, I named the step stool too. Those are Star Wars. Okay, this is gonna. I'm gonna have to be organized here. Okay, so we're looking for playing cards, Lion King hearts. We got one, two there. a heart with the Star Wars. Yeah, so one, two, three. We can do here. I'm going to turn the red light on because the bees are jumping at me. Okay. So let's see how this works here. Got a bunch. Remember, I'm trying to get, uh, there should be 12 or so cards, if any of them blown away. Looking to fill the jar, so that's on three. Temptation when you find a nice strong hive is to take your whole sample from there. That's not going to work. So off we go to find some more. The other side of these pallets should have some more. Okay. Hearts. One up here. Okay, here's the next one, a bit of a side view. I'm wearing my respirator because I don't like breathing this air dust, air the bee dust too much here. But we'll try this one. Okay. 